I found I have DNA from Sardinia. What does it mean? Sardinia sits at a crossroads in the Mediterranean Sea, the second largest island next to Sicily. Surrounded by sparkling turquoise waters, this Mediterranean jewel lies northwest of the toe of the Italian peninsula Boot, about 350 kilometers due west of Rome. For evolutionary biologists, islands are often intriguing geographically isolated pockets with unique populations that can be ripe for exploration. Now, in a new study appearing in the advanced online edition of Molecular Biology and Evolution an international team led by geneticist Anna Oliveri from the University of Pavia tackles a highly interesting question. What were the origins of the Sardinian population in the context of European prehistory and ancient human migrations? The authors analyzed 3,491 modern, whole mitochondrial DNA genomes from Sardinia, which are only passed down maternally. These were compared with 21 samples of ancient mitogenomes from the island, a large panel of non-Sardinian mitogenomes and even Otzi, the nickname of Europe's oldest natural mummy, the 3300 BC year old Tyrolean ice man, to better understand their origins. Their findings show Sardinia as an outlier in the general European genetic landscape. Almost 80% of modern Sardinian mitogenomes belong to branches that cannot be found anywhere else outside the island. Thus, they were defined as Sardinian-specific haplogroups, SSHs, that most likely arose in the island after its initial occupation. Almost all SSHs coalesce in the post-neuragic, neuragic and Neolithic Copper Age periods. However, some rare SSHs display age estimates older than 7,800 years ago. The postulated archaeologically based starting time of the Neolithic in Sardinia. Our analyses raise the possibility that several SSHs may have already been present on the island prior to the Neolithic, said Professor Francesco Cucker, from the Institute of Genetic and Biomedical Research, IRGB at the CNR in Cagliari, Sardinia. The most plausible candidates will include haplogroups K1A2D and U5B1I1, which together comprise almost 3% of modern Sardinians, and possibly others. Such a scenario would not only support archaeological evidence of a Mesolithic occupation of Sardinia, but could also suggest a dual ancestral origin of its first inhabitants. K1A2D is of late Paleolithic Near Eastern ancestry, whereas U5B1I1 harbors deep ancestral roots in Paleolithic Western Europe. This work provides evidence that contemporary Sardinians harbor a unique genetic heritage, as a result of their distinct history and relative isolation from the demographic upheavals of continental Europe. Anna Oliveri stresses. It now seems plausible that human mobility, intercommunication and gene flow around the Mediterranean from late glacial times onwards may well have left signatures that survive to this day. Some of these signals are still retained in modern Sardinians. Although in the past the stress has often been on the spread of the Neolithic, Genetic studies too are beginning to emphasize the complexity and mosaic nature of human ancestry in the Mediterranean, and indeed in Europe more widely, concludes Professor Antonio Toroni, from the University of Pavia. Future work on ancient DNA should be able to test directly to what extent this more complex model is supported by genetic evidence and whether our predictions of Mesolithic ancestry in contemporary Sardinians can be sustained. The inhabitants of the Italian island of Sardinia have a distinct genetic heritage which sets them apart from other Europeans. Their particular history and isolation from the rest of the continent may explain why these people's genetic signatures are unique, scientists believe. Sardinia is known to have remained unconnected to the Italian mainland, even when sea level was at its lowest during the last glacial maximum, 
which reached its peak some 21,500 years ago. As such, their interactions with other Europeans have remained limited over thousands of years. Previous investigations into the genomes of Sardinians have revealed that they harbor high levels of nuclear genome similarity with European Neolithic farmers as well as with the famous Tyrolean nice man. However, many scientists believe that these Neolithic farmers were not the first people living on the island. Both archaeological and genetic evidence suggest that pre-Neolithic European people already inhabited Sardinia by 13,000 years ago, during the Mesolithic era, and have also left a trace in the genomes of modern Sardinians, but not everyone agrees with this theory. A study now published in Molecular Biology and Evolution sheds a new light on Sardinians' complex ancestry. By looking at mitochondrial DNA-genetic material passed on by mothers to offspring, instead of nuclear DNA, the researchers help clarify the population's genetic links with modern and ancient Europeans. They also attempt to settle the debate about who the first inhabitants of the island were. A Genetic Window Into the Past the scientists analyzed a total of 3,491 mitochondrial DNA samples from the present-day population on the island. They compared them with 21 ancient samples collected from skeletal remains found in rock-cut tombs, megalithic tombs, caves and rock shelters dating back to between 3,000 to 6,100 years ago. The results suggested that 78.4% of the modern mitogenomes cluster into Sardinian-specific haplogroups. Haplogroups are genetic population groups who share a common ancestor. This means that there is little mitochondrial genetic diversity among Sardinians compared to other European populations. That percentage is extremely high, Lee author Dr. Maria Palla said. If you look at Europeans as a whole, you cannot essentially distinguish an English person from an Italian or a French, because Europeans have mixed together for a long time. Sardinians thus appear to harbor a unique genetic heritage. The most likely explanation is that this is a result of having lived cut off from the rest of Europe, on an island for many years. Most of them appear to have descended from the first farmers who occupied the island since the Neolithic and Bronze Age, between 2000 and 8000 years ago. However, the findings do not completely discard the hypothesis that another population already lived on the island some 13,000 years ago. In fact, the study confirms that traces of these ancient people's DNA may be found in some modern Sardinians. The scientists have identified two haplogroups which may have been present on the island before the arrival of the first Neolithic farmers. These haplogroups are called K1A2D and U5B101, and together comprise almost 3% of modern Sardinians. Such a scenario would not only support archaeological evidence of a Mesolithic occupation of Sardinia, and recent genome-wide studies, but could also suggest a dual ancestral origin of its first inhabitants, the authors say. Thank you for watching this video.